So tonight we're gonna cook up two beautiful porterhouse steaks that I picked up a few nights ago. We're gonna do it on my trusty Weber 22 inch kettle grill. Guys, we're doing it over charcoal, but we're gonna be using grill grates to get those beautiful sear marks. And we're gonna do something special, so be sure to watch to the end. So what we're doing a little bit differently is I am using just basic salt, pepper, and uh, granulated garlic, guys. I've pre-mixed it into my own little golden ratio, if you will. It's actually no secret. It's about 25 to 75 uh, salt to pepper and about uh, another extra 25% of uh, the granulated garlic. That's 125%. How does that look, you ask? Well, let's say you take five rocks. One, two, three rocks is your pepper. One rock is your salt and another rock is your granulated garlic and there you go guys so we're going to light the charcoal off guys uh, we're going to use paraffin cubes i'll leave a link down in the description if you want your own these are mine and we're going to take about 20 minutes to get the coals nice and hot and get ready to go um, while we're doing that i'm going to mix some 100 uh, real butter with uh, some avocado oil to increase that flash point then I'm gonna take some fresh garlic cloves and just throw them in there, peel it a little bit. And of course, some fresh rosemary, guys. Rosemary is great to have around the house, especially if you do a lot of steaks, grow out in the garden, on a windowsill in the wintertime, you know, whatever, but just have some rosemary around. All right, so let's get started. This is definitely not a uh, steak cook-offs association uh, contest here. We're cooking the flavor, the kind of flavor we love. And hey, before we get any further into this, make sure you get yourself a good instant read digital thermometer. It doesn't have to break the bank, guys. This is a nice and expensive one. 11 bucks with tax at my local box hardware store. It doesn't need to break the bank, guys. Just get yourself one. And don't forget the little rubbery brush for that little oil secret sauce I made and you can see I'm going to use that here in a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is about a couple minutes I'm going to turn it 45 degrees a couple more minutes then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to put that first dab of oil and garlic mix on it. Alright guys sorry for the smoke here take the lid off here. Now like I said I'm going to go with some a 45 degree turn And that's going to help make some nice grill marks, guys. And obviously, these grill grates have been well used, guys. You, but you could see this nice machined edge here. You want to get that nice and burning hot. You want to have direct flame underneath. You notice these little holes in here kind of help with the flare-ups. You might see a little flame here and there sticking up, but that's okay. That's charbroil. That's not bad. My butter, oil, garlic and rosemary mix is melted nicely. Guys, you don't want to use this until you flip it. And then you want to just drizzle that over, uh, not brushing, but just drizzle. You want to use this as more of a little shaker, like a drizzle. You get that on the char side, guys. All right, there we go. A uh, little flare up, but that's okay. See how it kind of comes down, gets under control. Now I'm gonna get my garlic mix and just drizzle it on, guys. See that? I'm not wiping it on, okay? Just a little drizzle. All right. Okay, while I'm doing this, I want to check the temperature, just make sure I'm not getting away. It's not getting away from me. All right, guys, let's go on inside. 
tent them a little bit with some foil, let them rest for about 10 minutes, and then check them out. Okay, I'm about to cut into this succulent porterhouse steak. We're going in for this one here. On that side, okay. Yeah. That's the one I cooked a little bit more well for you. Thank you. Oh, How's perfect. Look? Let me see inside. Looks perfect. Yeah, oh, yeah, that looks nice. That's good medium right there. Mmm. How's it taste? Mmm. Oh, yeah. Delicious. I haven't had a porterhouse steak in like forever. Okay, again, guys, we, we prefer a little bit more well done to each zone, but uh, let's see how it tastes. Mmm, 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 mmm. Two thumbs up. So Sassy made some mushrooms. What, what did you do? How'd you make them? Sauteed in uh, garlic oil. What are you gonna do with them? A little oh. bit of butter. Put them on our steak. All right, let's check them out on the steak. And some chipotle. See? All right. Let's put them on the steak. Oh, that looks so good. They're yeah. nice and caramelized. Yeah, I would have done onions, but you know what? We're having a big old salad. Look at this. Mm. Oh, I said for you to take a bite, huh? She's. T well, I'm not gonna argue with you there, but. <laughs> you may have one of yours. Absolutely, you may baby. Have a, bite, a bite from her steak with a mushroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo. <laughs> mmm. Really good. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you love great barbecue, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell us all about uh, your porterhouse experiences, and we'll see you on the next one. Your porter